welcome to the next lecture in power electronics we were discussing the power diodes in this lecture we will focus on the circuits which involve the diodes and the load which is in the form of rc that is the resistor and the capacitor when we talk about the idle diode involving the rc load you will not have any losses in the diode this we have discussed in the previous lecture here the idle means the reverse recovery time and the forward voltage drop are both negligible so we will have the reverse recovery time to be zero and the forward voltage drop to be zero the source voltage is basically a constant dc voltage so the voltage that we take as that input is basically dc which is constant here the circuit that represent a diode having symbol d1 which is connected with a source which is dc vs and the load which you have as rc load now there is a switch which is connected in the circuit the switch is basically closed at time t equal to zero and then the charging current will flow so when the switch will be closed then since this diode is the idle one so you will not have the forward voltage drop any and the current will start flowing in the circuit so this current which is flowing in the circuit with respect to time t if we want to plot the waveform so the maximum current in the circuit will be equal to vs by r because the capacitor at that time will behave as open circuit we know that capacitor for the dc behave as open circuit and hence all the current will be flowing in the circuit as it is involving the resistor so the current will fall from the maximum value of vs by r and the voltage will increase in the capacitor it will charge to the maximum potential of vs if we see this derivation so if we write the kvl equation in this loop where the current i is flowing when the switch is closed then the source voltage is equal to the resistive drop plus the capacitive voltage so we are represent the loss in the resistor the vc represent the total voltage stored in the capacitor where vs is the source voltage now the voltage vr is basically the drop in the resistor r which we can write as i into r whereas the capacitor voltage we can write as 1 by c integration i dt with the initial time t naught to t considering that the initial time t equal to zero when the switch was closed at that time the voltage was vc if we consider that the capacitor was initially uncharged so we see at time t equal to zero is zero then the charging current flowing in the circuit is vs by r e to the power minus t by rc so the solution to this differential equation we are getting in the form of current which is exponentially decaying so you have a negative sign here it means that current will be exponentially decaying with its maximum magnitude is vs by r at time t equal to zero so when the time will increase then the voltage will decrease from the maximum value to zero the capacitor voltage on the other hand as a function of time t is 1 by c integral i dt with initial limit 0 to final limit t that is at a particular time we can obtain this is equal to vs 1 minus e to the power minus t by rc we know that the time constant of the rc network is basically is equal to rc so this rc factor can be replaced with tau where tau is the time constant of an rc load the rate of change of these capacitor voltage so here you have the capacitor voltage you want to take the differentiation with respect to time t you will get vs by rc e to the power minus t by rc so it means that it is again exponentially decreasing at a rate with respect to the time constant so the initial rate of change of the capacitor voltage at time t equal to zero in this equation if you put the time t to be zero then we get this value to be one so it is equal to vs by rc the current i is unidirectional because it is a diode so current will always flow in the same direction from anode to cathode so the current will flow 
when the switch is closed, then it will flow from anode to cathode. It is unidirectional and does not tend to change its polarity. The diode has no effect on the circuit operation. So diode will not have any effect on the circuit operation. It is just act as unidirectional flow of the current. Let us solve one problem to understand the RC load switched diode circuit. So register value is 44 ohms and capacitor is 0.1 microfarad. The initial capacitor voltage we can take to be 220 volt. Switch is closed at time t equal to 0. Determine the peak diode current. The energy dissipated in the register R and the capacitor voltage at a particular time t equal to 2 microsecond. So we have the RC load with the switch is closing and the initial capacitor voltage is 220 volt. So here the capacitor is charged to 220 volt. We don't have any source in the circuit. So Vs is equal to 0. The initial source of the capacitor voltage will drive the current in the circuit. So the peak diode current will be equal to the initial capacitor voltage by the register value which is 44 ohms. 220 by 44 will give 5 ampere. And the energy which is dissipated in the capacitor is half CV square. So V0 indicate the initial capacitor voltage which is 220 and the capacitor value is 0.1 microfarad. So it comes to the 2.42 millijoule. And the time constant RC is equal to register multiplied with the capacitor. So it comes to be 4.4 microsecond. And we have to find the capacitor voltage at time t equal to 2 microsecond. So the capacitor voltage at the time t equal to 2 microsecond, we can use the formula Vc0 e to the power minus t by RC. RC is the time constant which we have got here 4.44 microsecond. 220 is the initial voltage of the capacitor. So we get 139.64 volt. So this short lecture we have discussed the RC load uh, along with the diode. In the coming lecture we are going to discuss the other type of loads like RL load, RLC load, what happened when the inductor is present in the network, the free wheeling diode and etc. Thank you for now. See you in the next lecture.